There's someone here. There's someone in the apartment. The phone on the desk. I could call for help. The front door. It's the only way out. If I can reach it, I still have a chance. When the parents came home from church, all their children were gone. They searched and called for them, they cried and begged, but it was all to no avail. The children have never been seen again. I have to get out of here and find out what this ticket is about.
Do Mr. You Mars, Mars. Back you anyone, Mr. Mars. Did your Mr. Mars. disappear? Mr. Mars, can you confirm that your son you has disappeared? Your son is still alive? I have to make it through the crowd. I can't can't take crowds. Just can't handle it. I I can't make it. Too many people. Too many people. Jason! Dad! Jason! Dad! Jason! Jason! Line 18, box number 3.
I took a room in the first motel I saw. The box from the locker. What am I going to find inside? The killer is white, aged between 30 and 45. He doesn't act on impulse, but plans his crimes in a very meticulous fashion. He doesn't have anything personal against the victims. That's why he covers their faces with mud, to make them anonymous. Why does he kill them if he doesn't have anything against them? For him, they're more of an image, a symbol. That's probably why he gives them an origami figure and an orchid as gifts, to apologize for what he's done to them. Very interesting. And where does all that get us? The best way of tracking a predator is to be familiar with his behavior. That may be true in novels, but there's a child's life at stake here. Continue, Jaden. One detail attracted my attention. The interval between the time when a victim disappears and the time when the body is found ranges from three to five days. But the rainfall is always at six inches, give or take 10%. What on earth does that mean? All the victims were drowned in rainwater. The killer kills only in the fall when there is plenty of rain. It could be that he puts them in some sort of well or tank that is open to the skies and that fills up with rainwater. The more it rains, the less time the victim has to live. Then I studied the geographical distribution of the murders. Generally, a killer commits his first murder near to where he lives, so he has a safe place to flee to if any complications arise. The more confident he becomes, the further he roams from his base. By analyzing the locations where the victims disappeared, I was able to isolate a zone where the killer might live. And, and what size is this, uh, zone? For the moment, about 10 square miles. Oh, great. There must be 10,000 people live in that sort of area. You gonna question them one by one? 
It may not give us the address of the killer, but at least it's something to go on. Blake, if you've got a better plan, I'm willing to listen. Don't be shy. I'm all ears. So what's next? There are two suspects whose psychological profile might fit and can be connected to the comfort zone. I'd like to question them. God damn it. We're wasting our time with this bullshit. The killer's out there somewhere, and we gotta get off our asses and find him. The killer is no ordinary murderer. He is intelligent, organized, and methodical. You won't find him by patrolling the streets. Tell me, Agent Jaden, did you get your fast experience on the job, or did you just fucking read about it in some school book? I came here to find a killer. And that is exactly what I'm gonna do. With or without your Fucking help. Fucking asshole! That's enough! You said it took six inches of rainfall before the victim died. How much time do we have left? If the weather forecasts are right, less than 72 hours. Sir, we waste our time coming here. Maybe we should have a little look inside anyway. There's nobody home. There is now. I'm not sure that's entirely legal. Call the cops. Looks like Nathaniel Williams is a pretty religious guy. He's a God-fearing idiot, waiting for the end of the world. We questioned him a few months back because he was causing a disturbance in the park. He was ranting and raving. Said he heard voices. Had this idea in his sick little head that I was the Antichrist. I would come to Earth to persecute him. Real twisted. stifling in here. Those windows haven't been opened in years. All the signs of a mystical obsessive neurosis compounded by a persecution complex. Candles are still lit. He should be back soon. Timing, Nathaniel. Just the man we're looking for. Angels and ministers of grace defend us. I'm Agent Norman Jaden, FBI. I'd like to ask you a few questions. As God is my witness, I haven't done anything. I'm innocent. Relax. Nobody's accusing you of anything. We just want to talk. Why all the crucifixes? Are you afraid of something? The hour is nigh. And the wrath of God shall strike men down. I am preparing for the end of the world. 
Nathaniel, do you remember where you were last Tuesday at 4.30 p.m.? Here. I was here. I was praying. All day. Was there anybody with you? No. No, I was alone. Where do you work?